In this video, I'm going to show the assembly of the ECC Opto 10 optical test cell with a side-by-side -side sample holder. In the first step, we assemble the cell lid. We insert the polyethylene seal. Then the sapphire window. And finally, this plastic sleeve, which is applying the mechanical pressure onto the window. Then we attach this metal flange with the six screws already inserted. You must be careful not to damage the sapphire window during assembly, so you need to gently screw in the screws with a provided torque control screwdriver in the first step. Don't completely tighten the screws, just screw in and once all the screws are in position apply the torque with the provided tool. Okay, and the lid is fully assembled. We insert those silver plated screws, which will finally hold the lid on top of the cell base. The next step is to, to assemble the side by side sample holder. We have two electrode strips which are to be inserted into the sample holder from either side. For now they must only be roughly in position. We will later on have a chance to adjust the strips more precisely. So this is kind of pre-assembly. Then we go on with the assembly of the cell. We insert the central plunger into the plastic sleeve using the provided tweezers tool. We insert the lithium metal electrode 10 mm in diameter, 0.2 mm thick. Then put the glass fiber separator on top, which is also 10 mm in diameter and 0.25 mm thick. With the tool, we make sure that the separator is flat. Then attach the sample holder, press the holder down. A 
and then insert this assembly into the cell base. Now this is the last point in time we can adjust the position of the two electrode strips. Then using an Eppendorf pipette, add 30 microliters of electrolyte. Don't use more than this as you may cause dirt in the cell base. Insert this polyethylene seal. Attach the lid we have assembled in the first part of the video. Watch the proper orientation of the lid. Okay, and now check again that the strips are properly aligned. And if so, only then press down the lid and firmly tighten the screws. Okay, I'm done.